Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. I've just returned from the scrapyard with a whole bunch of pretty cool stuff so I thought I would do a video and share it with you. The first thing I found was a bunch of these RF modules here. This one is a bias T and these are DC inserters. The main reason I picked these up is because on the inside they contain gas discharge tubes which are these little blue components here and there's another one on the smaller unit on this board. Uh, they're not easy to come by. So here's the um, the little board that I took out of one of them earlier and you can see that this little guy is just soldered on so I've just desoldered that and I now have six of these as soon as I take the rest of them apart and when I was taking them apart I thought I might as well keep the um, RF fittings here so um, that's what they look like when they're apart and one just slips straight into the other and the um, connections made by this wire that's just soldered on to the outside of the uh, the rod there so yeah I got six sets of these fittings that they just make together just push in like that and then they thread together like so uh, so yeah six sets of those and six of these little guys that'll come in very handy they're not they're not easy to come by so I always try and get them when I can and the rest of that will just end up being and scrapped the next thing I found were these capacitors 200 microfarad each uh, the MKP capacitors Arcotronics uh, I'll just turn it over you can see that it's just an earth stud mount capacitor they're pretty large I can't even fit them all in the screen at the moment here but couldn't leave them behind also picked up a whole bunch of terminals heavy duty stuff right there and found a microwave oven capacitor got the diode also got the fuse got a whole bunch of fuses and fittings and mouse balls and I've also got a pretty full range of these earthing terminals or terminal lugs there but I found a bag with 50 of them brand new the only problem was the bag had a hole in it and it was sitting inside some sort of bucket and it had pretty much what I call scrapyard juice in it um, that's when you get a bit of rainwater mixed with a bit of grease mixed with a bit of oil and a bit of dirt and it's not quite oily or greasy and it's not quite water it's pretty much somewhere in between so I had to soak these and rinse them out a few times they've come up brand new now I've got 50 of these smaller ones uh, so I've got a pretty full range for um, all sorts of wire gauges and this is a 9kV I'll just turn that over zoom in on that that's a 9kV 24 milliamp transformer um, I've never seen one this sort of size before it's pretty small uh, but I've checked the resistance across the windings at 6 ohms and 14.63 kilo ohms uh, for the primary and secondary respectively and it all seems to be in pretty good condition I've taken the top off, I've had a look at the tar inside and there's no cracks in it or anything like that so I can only assume it works, we'll give that a test over the next week or so when I get around to it um, and I also picked up this guy over here and this one here is a 15kV 30 milliamp transformer and if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll probably remember that I've already got two of these so I can wire these all up in parallel and get a total of 15 kV at 90 milliamps um, and I've also got two 15 kV 60 milliamp transformers so there's another 120 milliamps uh, but I don't have enough input power to physically wire these all up in parallel um, but yeah if I wanted to and I had the power supply I probably could uh, but we won't be doing that anytime soon 
But um, yeah, that was a pretty good day at the scrapyard. All of that stuff for free. So I'm pretty happy. Okay, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments.